Hello and welcome to the instructional video of the question 2 experiment for this particular uh, lab, the third lab that you may have in your semester 2 or this is also a past year question. So in this question, we're going to look at lens and optics. So you'll be given two lenses. Mine is a bit cracked here. I'm not sure if you can see, but it doesn't matter. One of it, you don't go and break the lens in the lab. Huh? The lab assistant will have a, a fine for you. Okay, anyway, you got this little you know, thingy. You can see the, the light is being refracted. The lines are not really aligned. One lens is thin and the other lens is thicker. It may not be obvious in the desk cam, but it'll be very obvious when you hold it. Okay, so you got two lens. Bernier caliper, because we're going to do some measuring of the lens. A screen. And what is missing? A light source. So there are two types of light source here. Let me bloop it up for you to see. The first type of light source is... Uh, the candidate will focus the image of this object on the whiteboard using each lens. Screen. This thing. The light source should be a window or a bright lamp. And should be at least 2 meters from the candidate. So what they'll do in the lab is they will affix, affix, paste, stick, put... What's the term for it? Uh, they'll put this lamp... I need to pull up my extension cord. Right, they'll put this lamp up and they will stick it to the table for you. Now, when using this lamp, very, very important. You don't touch it. Uh, it is hot. You burn your hands. Okay? Is it still hot? Because I turned it on just now to play with it. Okay, it's cool now. Right, so this thing is hot. Okay, so I'm going to turn it on briefly now so you can see. Are you ready? You ready yourself? So this is a light source. Wow! So brightness, I think my desk cam hang gay up. Now is a good time, my face, to tell ghost story. I was three years old when I heard about... Okay, never mind. Let's not tell any ghost stories. Okay, anyway, so this is already very hot, okay? So you never touch this. Leave it two meters, far, far away, far, far away. I have a few problems here at home. Number one, I ain't got no two meter table. What do you think I am? I'm not bougie like that. I'm not an upper class person. I'm just a normal person. So I don't have a large table. So what I will do is I will improvise. How I improvise, I will talk about that inside the second data collection video. This is just the introduction as if you get to conduct it in the lab. Okay. So we got lens one, lens two. Like source, which can be the window. Or you say, if let's say you use a window, they will give you a big card. Like, use one of the windows as your bright object. So in the lab that you do at the college with me, you'll be given this one. Okay, very bright now. All right. So that's that. And now we will look at our instruction about what to do. It's exciting times. Okay, let's read the question. In this experiment, you will investigate how optical properties, uh, unknown what optical properties though, of a lens depend on its shape. Select one. So this means it can be any one. <laughs> okay, any one. You can use the fat one, you can use the thin one. There are two lenses, we don't discriminate. You're going to use the second one later anyway. Take the measurements to determine this height height h value of h so that will be the thickness at the edge the thickness at the thickest part which is t and the diameter of the lens t so you'll take a bunch of readings using our friend the vernier caliper if you forget how to use got playlist <laughs> go watch go watch the playlist i mean go watch the video all right so measure, measure already, and you calculate the value of R. And you are provided with a small card where name the bright object in your exam room. You are also provided with a white screen. So the bright object can be the lamp, but you make sure that the lamp is at a place here. And then a sharp image is here. Lens is here. Okay. Measure the distance F 
from the lens to the screen as shown in figure 4 2.2 can use the lens to focus a sharp image of the bright object onto the screen so this lamp has to be at least two meters away okay and then you adjust the lens and measure the distance from the lens to the screen so again ah uh, here here if you want to get good reading or reading that makes sense here to here must be at least two meters now, some of you, they may not be possible, depending on the length of your lab. And I'll provide alternatives in the second video. But let's say you can. Let's say you have a long lab table. Okay. So you will adjust the screen. Adjust this screen until uh, you see a sharp image. And I will give you an example or I'll try to produce a sharp image for you. No promises on the desk cam. All right. So we'll measure this distance F, which is the estimate of the focal length. Actually, whenever this kind of estimating thing happen, especially in question 2, I'd rather take repeated reading. All this, uh, I will just take repeat. The diameter, the height, the thickness, ooh, percentage uncertainty. Can you do the experiment and you tell me? How certain do you think the whole procedure is? What is a sharp image? Hmm. Many questions. Using the second lens, repeat. Oh, measure the dimension, thickness at the thickest part, the diameter and the height of the edge. Find your R, find your F. Oh, oh, very nice. Oh, finish lah. Yes, that after that is normal already. Suggested that R is equal to KF. So you find the first two value of K, write the thing that you're supposed to write as normal, and four sources of limitation and uncertain and improvement. Okay, so this is pretty straightforward. I just want to demonstrate to you what a sharp image look like. Okay, I think the rest pretty straightforward just don't touch the bulb lah, okay don't burn your fingers why no justify sf one okay no no justify sf all right fair enough okay so i'm gonna try to switch up my screen uh, organizing a bit to see if i could produce a sharp image for you to see okay so in the struggle of doing an optic experiment using pretty cheap lighting you can see this part here i'm going to use this light okay and if you observe the pattern of the light i'm not sure if you can tell there are actually many dots okay definitely cannot tell okay there are dots or you get this na 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 na, na. can see not flower pattern okay so i will use this circle as a guide to project a sharp image just to see how it looks like for you but how it looks like for you in person in the lab will look different don't forget your object is that lamp that pear-shaped lamp okay so now i'm going to whoa I think my camera is freaking out are you okay camera you okay you okay sorry about that sorry about flashing you too much today okay so what i'll do is i'll turn off the lights on my room okay and i'm going to put this at the place that is behind the camera so you will be able to see the image here okay so this is my screen all right, otherwise it doesn't capture at all. So BRB as I set up. By the way, it's not that I don't want to look at you, the camera, but because of this, this, you know, connected. All right, don't. Anyway. Okay, very, very quickly. I'm just going to show you what I'm doing. This is my lens. Okay, hopefully you can see my lens is here, right? And I will pick the lens and put it close enough. So. At this range, you cannot see what I see in the lens. So I will actually have to stare at the image that is here. Okay, so let me rearrange re this and try again. But what I'll do is I will adjust the distance between my wall and the lens. Or in your case, it will be between this whiteboard and the lens. Alright, BRB again. Okay, we are back and we are very, very close to the wall wall your eye the wall okay so here's how you see the sharpest image and the reason why it is not possible for this camera to pick up is because the camera is trained to focus on my hand not the image on the wall but my hand but i'll try my best okay so you will see that as i pull the lens further away 
the bright spot here, this bright spot is bigger. So when this bright spot is big, it's confirmed, not sharp one. We have to bring it closer and closer. Bring it closer and closer. I'm trying to not... Okay, so based on my naked eye, this is the sharp object. Find my eyes with glasses here. Okay, but it is unable for you to tell from this camera simply because <laughs> the camera is focusing on my hand, on this lens, not the shadow on the wall. Okay, so what you could do is as I move this forward, observe when the size is the smallest, somewhere here, somewhere here, this is focus, and then when this one travel out, it will blur again. So you'll find the point where it is smallest. And what distance do we measure? Like this is roughly the smallest, right? From the lens to the screen. Lens to the screen. So take the ruler and measure this one. Okay, so I think that's it. You will repeat the same thing for two different lenses. You can see they have very different properties. Okay, do this. Uh, uh, just just because this is a question too, so the accuracy is not that important. Just try your best. When this is the smallest, this is actually the... Because my light oh, is pretty far away. Look at my light. Look at it. It's, it's there. It's there. Right on top. I kept, I clip it on my cabinet so it's quite far away. All right. So it's more... It's almost two meters. I don't stay in a very big house, but somewhere here. Okay. If you look at it carefully, you will see the bright bright circles okay all right so that's it i will see you in the data collection video i'll see you in the lab bye bye